Welcome back to Animal Crossing Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. As you will see what's going on on our lovely island up on holiday today. We'll be relaxing as per usual. Um, of course, to, tomorrow and the day after, I will be going to MSI in London. I, I don't even know what, who, who we're seeing, what games we're seeing. Like, I, I think some of my friends posted it in my um, uh, friend's Discord, but even then, I don't remember because I didn't actually check it. I also probably wouldn't recognise them in the first place. But anyway, basically it's just sort of like a, a, a nice little fun time to meet up with a lot of my friends again. But anyway, um, yeah, well, what, what should we talk about today? I don't really know. Hello everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow at 6.09pm on Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. Uh, we have a visitor staying at a campsite, which is always jolly good. Um, and I'm trying to think, because there was some random like set of videos I was watching last night, but I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. I just remember watching it being like, wow, it's been ages since I've like seen stuff like this. I don't I don't even know why I'm watching it. But again, it's just sort of gotten, you know, what happens like late nights, you know, stays at late night. Blech, I can't even speak. What happens late night stays late night. You know? It's a sort of <laughs> I mean that that sounds like it has more like untoward connotations than I intended, but I meant it more from a mysterious perspective where it's like, oh, you know what? Anything can happen when you're late at night and low and sleep, you, you know, you sort of just do whatever. Who knows? You, you, people really be wilding out there when it's like uh, one a.m. or something. The witching hour. I don't know actually know when is a witching hour necessarily. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a Google question. Is it even a thing? Divine witching hour. I always just kind of assumed it meant sunset, midnight. Okay, never mind. Midnight. That makes sense. Isn't it weird to think about like a witching hour when you're younger? You're like, whoa, the witching hour. You know, that's so like late or whatever. That's when witches come out or whatever. And now you know you probably say witching hour, and you're like, oh, I'm still awake at <laughs> witching hour. Maybe depending on who you are and how much sleep you need. Um, I normally go to sleep around midnight to one, um, maybe two if it's you know if I, if I need to be doing something, um, like finishing something off. But m m most of the time it's about midnight to one. What time do I wake up? You might ask. Um, depends on the day. Sometimes it's six. Sometimes it's like nine. <laughs> You know, I'll, I'll take whatever, whatever sleep I can get. Because, you know, sleep is nice. You know, it's always nice to sort of operate at full functionality. Especially um, more recently since I've been a bit ill. Um, it's a bit nice to recover, I suppose. Whether the sleep actually like helps you recover or not, I don't, I don't particularly know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I spoke about it a lot, but I don't know science. Well, the last thing I read about sleep was the fact that it was like, scientists don't necessarily know why we need sleep except for the best answer they can give is we get sleepy or something like that um and it's probably advanced since then that's probably a gross a gross simplification of uh, the entire process in the first place but you know I it, it makes a funny headline i'll give you that much sorry about that little bit of a pause um but yeah no, it's, it's just i mean it's quite a normal thing i suppose whoa as you get older it turns out the hours which you, you thought were super late um, seems to be earlier and earlier for you. I, I think it must loop back around because probably when you actually have kids, you're like, okay, you know, I I'm not sleeping like a, a, a minute past 11 p.m. or whatever because you're just tired probably from looking after kids or, you know, that having your sleep schedule, I think, s synced up with your children probably makes a lot more sense and especially when you need to wake up and like, I don't know, get them ready for school, etc., etc. Um, while balancing out or working out or whatever at the same time, it's probably something which makes more sense. I don't know. Um, but what was I going with this? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, nowadays, I don't, you know, it, it's all like, midnight doesn't feel like a witching hour, like it should be. Like, you might be like, what time did you used to go to sleep when you were younger? I actually used to go to bed a lot later than, um, a lot of my, uh, I was going to say, um, what was it, classmates? I was going to say, I couldn't think of what a classmate was. Um, because I, I remember this distinct memory that I had a friend back in when we were in year two so that would make us like six or something um, she visited my house once and it was like 5 p.m or something and then she had to leave at 6 p.m because her bedtime was 6 p.m and I was like that is like the most absurd bedtime I've ever heard like what time are you eating dinner like as soon as you get home from school um, it's wild I also remember like I, I mean obviously her family just did things differently from our family I remember um when I went to her house to like eat dinner and that sort of thing, after I finished the food, I was like going to leave, and then like her mum was just like, "Oh no, why don't why didn't you stay?" And, you know, you know. <laughs> but basically, the insinuation you should stay, and you know, even though you finished your food, and um, you know, you like talk over dinner table or whatever. Um, that, that's that's what I remember. And I just remember being like, "What?" <laughs> I remember just sit, sitting over, being like, "I don't know what to do." You know, I've I've eaten my food, and like, am I meant to have make pleasant conversations as like 
a seven-year-old with his, um, with his woman and, like, with the rest of the family. I don't know, maybe. Um, but I just remember, because, because at least in the way it was done in my family, when you finish your food, you can, you know, go buzz off and do whatever you want, you know, continue playing your games, continue not doing whatever, you can wait, you can, you know, X, Y, Z. My parents didn't really mind, you know. I, I suppose, like, unbounded, unbounded, unbounded freedom and creativity to a certain degree. Um... So it was a very weird experience to get someone else's, you know, home. Just being like, oh, you know, there was a different way of doing things. Anyway, she had a <laughs> long short of it in, back in year two. Or maybe it was reception, I don't remember. Reception is um, like year zero, essentially. Um, she had her, a bedtime of 6pm, which is, you know, seemed insanely early. Because I remember at the time, I think I was going to bed at like nine or something. <laughs> which, I don't know. It, it, is there like a proper hour you should be putting your beds, uh, your kids to bed to? Probably. Like, um, there's probably like recommendations, you know, like mid mid time naps or whatever mid, mid time midday naps <laughs> but middle of time naps um actually i remember that like we used to have like these midday naps um back in reception back in well maybe back in nursery i don't really remember that well but i remember it in, in reception like we we would all get onto the, the the play area called like i think it was just called the floor and i don't mean like the floor on the ground i mean it was on the ground like the floor or maybe it was, was it called the carpet i can't remember I don't know, but it was like that particular square was a floor, and that's what you know when the teacher would like read us stories or something. I can't, something along those lines. I remember just sort of like lying there on the ground, being like, I, I don't know what I'm meant to do, because <laughs> I mean, I probably had midday naps when I was younger. I just don't remember them. I just remember like probably by the time I started school, I'd stop having the mid midday naps or whatever. So I remember just sort of lying there, being like, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I guess I'm meant to sleep, but I'm not really tired or what, what have you. Maybe maybe I was just intrinsically, you know, didn't need to sleep as much. Or maybe I, I did all my sleeping when I was younger, you know. And now those are years where I'm like, I want to do things. Who knows? Anyway, I mean, I've often said bits and pieces how I don't really have, like... The only times I tend to have midday naps are when I'm, like, extraordinarily tired. And that those days well, were university days. And uh, thankfully, kind of behind me, I suppose. And, and nowadays, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm not so sleep deprived that I need to have a midday nap. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of when I stopped having, like, a bedtime, like, curfew or whatever. Like, because cause definitely it got to, like, 10pm or something when I when I was older. I'd imagine. Like, when I, when I was about, like, 12 or something. Maybe? That seems a bit odd still. Like, for when, I ha when I had it. But I, I, I generally don't recall. But, but the only thing I can really say is, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had, like, far later bedtimes and you know, my, um, my peers. I don't know if that's necessarily a good or bad thing, you know, maybe, maybe it actually does have, like, unforeseen consequences when you're older. It's like, oh, you know, now I have, like, poor circadian rhythm, or, well, if anything, it should be the opposite for me. I have a pretty good circadian rhythm. I just, like, I'm a very heavy sleeper, maybe, you know? <laughs> I just sort of, like, when I go to sleep, I'm just, like, I'm asleep immediately, and when I need to wake up, I'm, like, awake. Not, like, immediately, necessarily, but, but significantly more awake than, you know, some of my friends, <laughs> from what I can tell, but, um, that just, you know, is part of the course, if anything. Some people are morning people, some people are, are nighttime people. <laughs> Someone said to me recently, they were like, are you a morning person? You seem like a morning person. Which is weird, because I don't consider myself a morning person, but maybe I am, just like in comparison. I feel like myself, I, I said I'm much more of like an afternoon person. Like, I feel like I peak at like 1pm to 3pm sort of time. An afternoon lark, like, it, what is it? Morning, morning bird, afternoon lark, night owl, something like that. <laughs> so I just need to have a bit of water, stay hydrated and all that. Um, yeah, where was I going with this? I don't know if I was going anywhere in particular with this, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's just a witching hour 12, like very quickly I suppose didn't really become a witching hour. You know? Like I, I remember certainly doing sick one time. And probably during GCSE time as well. I was definitely going to sleep at midnight. And waking up. I don't know why I woke up so early. But a lot of times I woke up at like 6. <laughs> but for really no apparent reason. Because you know I didn't have to catch a train until like 8.30 or something. But still. Um, that, that's what I recall at the very least. So it's sort of like. It, it, it's amusing how a witching hour very quickly does not become a witching hour anymore. Did we get to Vivian's house? I don't remember. We might, we might as well check you know. It very much, I suppose, I suppose, loses its luster for the mysterious and the dark and the, you know, spooky. It's just like, this is what it is. I feel like we spoke to you already, Vivian, didn't we? 
Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, bedtimes. I was trying to think. Because I, I feel like a, a thing that people often say would be like, oh, you know, during like bedtime, uh, so during like sleepovers or birthdays or whatever, you can stay up late because, you know, you've got no bedtimes because I guess parents can't really regulate that thing when, you know, the kids are excited and, you know, they got friends over and whatnot. So that's always a bit of fun, but I, I suppose I never really had that feeling because <laughs> uh, like I'm sure my parents probably did set like strict bedtimes, like they probably would not allow me to, you know, go to sleep at like 3 a.m. or something, but it's the sort of thing where like they're like you should go to bed or whatever and probably most of the time I was like yeah I probably should go to bed I'm like kind of tired or something and I'm, I'm sure some days I was just like yeah I want to stay up I remember one one time I wanted to stay up because I wanted to eat dumplings and for for whatever reason I was very adamant but I was like I want to eat dumplings right now so then my parents you know as, as kind as they were they were like all right fine <laughs> and they, they actually made me like a plate of dumplings or whatever so I could eat them I guess I must have just been like really hungry or, or whatever I don't know how I managed to have two dinners but uh, I, I just I just strictly remember for whatever reason being like I want some dumplings you know <laughs> and it, it was like a, a decent like plate I mean to be fair dumplings are pretty like quick to make they're not like I mean they're, 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 they're pretty rapid you know you make dough it's just like flour and water I guess you, you don't really get to let them rise I suppose when you do that but so be it that, that's a, a choice you make I suppose when you just demand to have dumplings within like the next 20 minutes or so Fulfilling themselves, just like pop it all together in a bowl, mix, mix, mix. I've been making the dumplings, I suppose, is not necessarily the longest part, but there you go. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know why my parents made me dumplings. And probably like a, as a point of parenting where you're just like, fine, okay, you win, kid. <laughs> I can't be bothered because I feel like a reasonable thing to do would be like, no, you don't get to have dumplings, go to bed <laughs> or whatever. Or like maybe you can have like a, a snack or something of like, here's a banana. I, I, I don't know why, I don't know really why I had such a craving of dumplings then. It's, it's not like dumplings is my favourite food or anything. Um, it's very nostalgic though, eating them, you know. Eating like my, my parents' dumplings and that sort of things, being like, ah, you know, this is what like home-cooked meals, I suppose, <laughs> taste of. But I don't know. I probably, uh, my, my guess is I probably just wanted to stay up late or whatever, but you know, I was also really hungry. It's what I remember from that day. So maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I was just hangry, as I say. Maybe I didn't eat much enough for dinner. And was just like, now I'm just got like this crazy cravy, craving for dumplings. And I want to stay up late. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. You know, because <laughs> not me here just sitting here critiquing my parents' parenting. And just being like, oh, you know, you should have like made me go to bed earlier. Or what X, Y, Z, you know. <laughs> it, it's something, I suppose, which is easy to say uh, in reflection. But honestly, it probably didn't really affect much, to be honest. I feel like a lot of times I was pretty reasonable. It was just like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go to bed now because I'm I'm tired. But maybe I'm just not remembering the times where, you know, maybe I, like I threw a tantrum being like, I don't want to go to bed, etc., etc., etc. Um, pro I bet you, if, if there were times I wanted to stay up, it's probably because I wanted to stay up watching like a cartoon or something, you know, a, co a cool cartoon that came on. Um, because sometimes the ones which always played at late at night, I've always like the more like unconventional ones you know the ones which you don't see all that often you're like ooh, i've never heard of this one you know i could of course i could watch codename kissix or ed and ed and the dex's laboratory or whatever at normal hours and they're great you know don't get me wrong they're fantastic but sometimes you stay up a little bit you a little bit later and you're like whoa robo boy is a thing what? not robo boy uh, robot jones sorry robo, robo boy was one always at um earlier hours or you'd be like whoa it's the i can't remember what it's called like the time travel team i don't know that, that, that's a cartoon i only ever saw once and I just remember seeing it being like, I've never seen this cartoon before. I've never been able to see it again because, you know, it, it always came on at like 11pm on Cartoon Network for some reason. Um, heavens knows why I suppose there's so many things that late on at Cartoon Network. I can't, I've got to imagine the main demographic's probably mostly asleep by that point, but still. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just weird to think about. <laughs> the witching hour. Not so witchy, I suppose, when you stay up for it. Or maybe I've become a witch. Whoa, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I wouldn't really de describe myself as having witchy energy, to be honest. So, you know, m maybe I'm just sort of there vibing at the same time. Might as well be vibing. Life is, li life is for vibing, if anything. So who am I to rain on others parade because of it? It's just, you know, the witch hour. It's like, <laughs> you think about it, it's like, oh, you know. And all the fairy tales, oh, it's so, it's midnight, it's so late. You know, whatever. Well, actually, to be fair, I was going to be like, I was going to reference um, 
Cinderella was like, oh, I had to leave a ball. It's so late or whatever. Ah, Tia. Um, and how, you know, midnight is not particularly late for like, a, you know, a debutante ball or any sort of celebration, to be honest. Those, those celebrations go on to like 6 a.m. Believe you me. Um, well, maybe not for Cinderella, but we'll see. But now I think about it, she, she did leave in the middle of a party. She, she left in the middle of a dance, right? She, you know, so it probably would have only gone on until like two or something. <laughs> Makes me think about it, you know, in all these like Disney movies. How how wasted were people in those scenes? It's not like we're gonna portray, you know, people being absolutely um drunkards or whatever, but it's something I never really think about. Anyway, basically, long and short of it, you know, I, I feel like if those fairy tale witches were were to come into the modern day and see, you know, be like, Oh, it's a witching hour, time to for us to prowl about, they'll probably be um surprised at how many people are still, you know, awake at this time. Especially during university times. I feel like most students are like, still awake at midnight. Even I was still awake at midnight. I didn't really have like sensible bedtimes. Uh, obviously, that's not definitively true. Probably some people are quite reasonable and sensible and be like, you know, I've got lectures tomorrow morning. I'm going to go to sleep at midnight. But, you know, most people are out there partying, right? <laughs> Maybe witches are just party animals, you know? You ever think about that? You ever think about that? No, I don't know. Anyway, witch an hour. It's not even Halloween, I don't know why I spoke about it, but here you go. Uh, I'm going to round this episode off here, um, because I need to record some Happy in Paradise episodes for tomorrow. So, if you haven't been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Cross New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, description, shares, greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. Bye for now. It's our farewell. So, until next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>